Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have seen that human experts often have to make many choices within the machine learning deployment process. For example, we have to decide what data pre-processing steps to use, what learning algorithm to use, as well as what hyperparameter values we want to use for that learning algorithm. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the problem of selecting both the algorithm as well as the hyperparameters. And this is what we call combined algorithm selection and hyperparameter optimization, or CASH in short. Now what this looks like in the process figure that we have seen before is that we have the humans responsible for the data pre-processing and the AutoML agent for this part. So the AutoML agent selects the learning algorithm as well as the hyperparameters. So let's try to formalize the problem that we want to solve. So selecting the best algorithm as well as the best hyperparameters. So suppose that we are given some task that we want to solve. Well, furthermore, suppose that we are given some data set, some training data, to actually allow the machine learning method to find a solution to this problem. Now, of course, as we have seen before in the figure, every AutoML system needs to have one, a performance metric, so a performance measure. We often use the loss function for this, uh, which measures how poorly our solutions are performing. And we also need to have a search space, of course. Now, we know that we want to find the best algorithm and the best hyperparameters, so they have to uh, be present in our search space. So let this fancy A be the space of all algorithms over which we want to search, and capital theta to be the space of, of the hyperparameters over which we search. Then what we want to do is we want to find the best algorithm A star and the best set of hyperparameters theta star such that they minimize this expression. Now while this may look a little bit complicated, we can break this down. So this, this term right here is what, what we get when we apply the learning algorithm A with hyperparameters theta to our training data set. Now we know from the image before that the output of a learning algorithm is a model. So the algorithm takes in the data and outputs a model. So this term is just a model. So this entire part right here is then the loss of the model on a given data point from this task distribution. And then this entire thing is the expected or mean loss of the model. So in short, in cache, we want to find the best algorithm A star, the best set of hyperparameters theta star, such that we minimize the expected or mean loss of the model. Now, I want to stress that theta is actually a vector. So this is a hyperparameter vector consisting of different components. Now, for example, if we are dealing with neural networks, then this vector could be the value of the learning rate, the value of momentum, and the value of whether we want to use batch norm or not. Okay? And this entire thing is what we call combined algorithm and hyperparameter optimization, or cache. Now this is closely related to, to of course, hyperparameter optimization, uh, for which the objective is given as follows. So in hyperparameter optimization, we assume that the algorithm is given, so we no longer want to find a best algorithm, we simply assume that we have been given a certain learning algorithm, and we only want to find the best hyperparameters for that algorithm. That again minimizes the expected loss of the model. Now there is a relationship between these two, and that is that by including the algorithm as a hyperparameter within this vector theta, we kind of get the cache problem back. So if we allow the algorithm to be inside of theta, then we actually get the cache problem. So this is the close relation between these two problems. And this is also the reason why we can actually use many hyperparameter optimization techniques also for the combined algorithm selection and hyperparameter optimization problem.